A table is sold at 4,500 shillings and a chair at 2,000 shillings. A salesman earns a commission of 8% on every table and 5% on every chair sold. On a certain week, he sold three more chairs than tables and his total earnings were 3,980 shillings. Determine the number of chairs he sold that week. 3 Marks So that is the question. Let's solve it. Uh, we start by the table, the cost of the table. Uh, the cost of the table is 4,500. That is one table. Then the cost of each chair is um, 2,000. Then on top of that, um, there is a commission of 8% for every table. 8% for every table and 5% for every chair. Then there's uh, the information here which is very important. On a certain week, he sold three more chairs than tables. Three more chairs than tables. Since we don't know the number of chairs of the tables, we can let uh, the number of tables be represented by a certain letter X, Y, Z, any. So let me choose the X. Uh, we used to choosing X, I don't know why. So, if I let the number of tables be represented by X, and he sold three more chairs than tables, then the number of chairs will be three more, which will be X plus three. That is what we mean by that. And his total earnings were 3980. So, we're supposed to determine the number of chairs he sold that week. Now, one thing that you need to also understand is that this amount, 39. 80, the 3980 represents the total commission that this uh, person got. So what we need to get is the amount of money that he was able to get after selling all the tables and all the chairs. So let's start with the table. Uh, for all the tables, the tables are x in number. The x in number. So if they're x in number, then uh, if each of them cost 4,500, the total amount of money that this uh, person got was 4,500 multiplied by X. Then for the chairs, the chairs, the number of chairs are X plus 3. Each chair costs 2,000. So total amount is uh, 2,000. Uh, total amount is 2,000 multiply by the number of uh, chairs because each chair costs 2000 x plus 3 so these now represent the total amount of money uh, got without the commission now the next thing that you need now to factor in is the commission that is given that he gets for all the chairs for remember for a table he gets a commission of 8% uh, for the chair he gets a commission of 5% for a table, a commission of 8%. For a chair, he gets a commission of 5%. So how do we write that? So this amount is arrived after um, calculating. So we get the commission for the tables. So the commission for the tables will be 8%. 8%. So it will be 8%, uh, which is 8 uh, divided by 100 then multiply by the total amount of money obtained after selling all the all the chairs so this will be given by 4500 x 4500 x that is the commission that this person will get for the tables only what about for the chairs when you add the commission for the chairs which is a five percent then um, the number of chairs sold is 2000 x plus 3 so 2000 then x plus 3 the whole of this amount should give us the total amount of money or the total earnings because these total earnings are arrived after all the commission the commission on the tables and the chairs so that is uh, the equation that we form and this is what we need to solve in order to come up with the number of chairs now let us simplify these 
um, to simplify this you just need to use a calculator like this part when you open these uh, these zeros and this one will disappear so you will have um, 8 multiply by 45x so using a calculator 8 multiply by 45x this will give 360x then plus uh, for these two also these two zeros uh, will disappear then you have 5 times 20 uh, that one you get uh, 100 and then um, you have x plus 3 is equals to 39 80 so this give 360x plus 100x plus 300 is equals to 3980 like terms 360x plus 100x this will give 460x uh, plus 300 is equals to 3980 uh, taking uh, this one to the other side you get 460x is equals to 3980 subtract 300 you get um, this will be 36 3680 so uh, dividing both sides by 460 dot get x uh, you get um, 8 just give 8 so we get uh, x to be 8 what was x remember x was the number of tables we let the number of tables be represented by x and if this one is 8 then the question is asking about the number of chairs uh, so it will be x plus 3 and this will be 8 plus 3 which will be 11 so that is how you're supposed to solve that so the chairs the chairs are 11 in number and that was the required answer